Each team must have a representative on the track at all times during the overnight event. Because like participants in Relay for Life, cancer never sleeps. No matter where you go to watch the Super Bowl, having a safe ride home is always the best option. Jayhawk Taxi suggests calling ahead. Busy days like Super Bowl Sunday can have waits for up to two hours. Members of the Lawrence community and KU students traveled through campus to not only honor their religion, but show the KU community what Good Friday means to them. Blair Reich, KUJH TV News. Since the beginning of the semester, KU Greek students have been practicing for Rock Chalk Review, but the work didn't start in January. Directors have been working on their shows since this past summer, with hopes of being one of the five lucky fraternity and sorority pairs out of 12 that get selected to perform. I'm, I'm really proud of what we've come up with, and to put my name on that is kind of really cool for me, just because I've never done anything like this before. With opening night at the Lead Center less than three weeks away, students have been practicing at least one hour each night in order to prepare for the show, while also selling tickets for the show benefiting Douglas County United Way. Like this year's show theme, putting together a 25-minute musical in less than two months is easier said than done. Though daily practices can be a challenge to balance with the busy life of a college student, cast member Alex Fonda says it has actually helped him with his schoolwork. It's almost like a good thing because it'll break up my day where I'll have school and then after Rock Chalk I'll plan on doing most of my homework, so it kind of helps with prioritizing. Drake said being a part of Rock Chalk Review has not only brought his house closer, but the Greek community as a whole. As people are getting down to a personal level where people are meeting with each other and really putting something together. And that's something that I haven't seen uh, the Greek community really do besides Rock Chalk Review. Rock Chalk Review is anticipating to reach its $1 million fundraising mark towards United Way with this year's 63rd annual show. Tickets are currently on sale online for the show March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Blair Reich, KUJH TV News. After Sunday's win, KU students are eager for the Jayhawks to take on Ohio State in the Final Four. And many students are already planning on going to their favorite spots to watch the big game. I'm planning to go um, to Liberty Hall to watch it with friends. We're having a watch party at the Oread, so it's going to be pretty crazy. Rock Chalk, you know. Uh, plan on heading down to uh, probably Buffalo Wild Wings pretty early, just because I know it's going to be crazy. And um, I wanted to go to New Orleans, but at the same time, it's my first year at KU, so I want to experience Mass. While some students plan to go to New Orleans for the Final Four, many Jayhawks prefer to stay in Lawrence to watch the game right here on Mass Street. This means downtown bars and restaurants will be expecting a rather large crowd on Saturday night. Restaurant owner Brandon Graham says Jefferson's is already planning ahead to make the night run as smoothly as possible. And stocking up food and beverage wise more than you would normally do on a typical weekend, especially when we win on Saturday and have a real busy Monday. Along with having extra supplies and staff members on hand, Graham says he plans to be more strict on controlling the door so the restaurant does not get overcrowded. He suggests getting to your desired destination as early as possible to guarantee a spot. We are deciding actually today whether we're going to let people just line up first thing in the morning or if we're going to start seating later in the day and have a list, in which case they will need to be coming down early that day. So, No matter what the result of Saturday's game, it's safe to say Lawrence will be alive with Jayhawk spirit. Blair Reich, KUJH-TV News.